Right, I'm just going to show you a useful tool that's on the new website. Um, say you're putting an order in, and obviously when you put an order in, make sure that you are logged into your account before you start putting your order in. So you go on and you put the code number in. And then it brings it up. You go to add it to the cart, but it's out of stock. Um, one thing you can do, because it's out of stock, you can't add it to the cart, you can't save it, you can't order it. So what you can do, if you click the heart, it adds it to the wish list. So click that. Let's try another product. Let's do a search for that. And the bath mat. Add it. Oh, now that's out of stock as well. So let's add that to the wish list. I'm just going to add one more product um, oops too many zeros there add that on there I'm not going to add it to the cart that is available I just want to put it into the wish list so now you can actually go to your wish list and what I'm going to do here I'm using the wish list as a back order system um, at the moment, you can't put anything in this box. If the item is available, you can type in anything there as a reminder for yourself. And what you need to do is just click Update Wish List if you use that. But with these items that are out of stock, you cannot at the moment put anything in there but hopefully with a later update that will be a handy where you can put the customer's detail in there and perhaps the phone number so when the item comes in stock you can go to your wish list and ring that customer to see if she still wants that product you will see the items that are out of stock it says out of stock there if it's in stock you've got the add to cart button but I've been told that as soon as an item comes back in stock, that will change to the add a cart button, add to cart. So it's an ideal thing. So every time you go to your order, then as you're putting an order in, check in your wish list and you can get that from either the heart above or in the menu at the side. And if that's turned to add to cart, just add it to the cart. So when it's like that, click add to cart. It comes out of the wish list and it gets added into your cart. So it's a nice, simple way of keeping a track of all the out of stock items. Not that there's many of them these days. So uh, a useful tool and uh, have a look and have a play. And on another video, I'll show you something else you can use your wish list for. Okay, bye now.